Okay, we're going to solve this uh, CVPM practice problem um, a different way, using the graph to uh, come up with relationships that we then use to solve. Instead of using the graph sort of quantitatively, we're going to use it qualitatively. So my position and time graphs are going to, we're going to figure out what the shape is going to be, and then we're going to use the shape to come up with um, relationships between them without actually scaling the graph um, explicitly. So uh, what we're going to have is the, uh, the truck here is going to get basically a 150 meter head start. Right, so that's this amount. And the truck starts here and then drives off at some constant speed, so I know that that graph is a line. Uh, at some point here, the police car will catch up with it. Okay, so that's my delta T of 120 seconds. All right, the police car is going to also drive for that 120 seconds, but it's going to start 150 meters behind. So here's my truck. And here's my police car, and I know that the police car is going to catch it, so it's going to be at the same place at the end of the motion. Oops. Okay, and the question is, what is that speed? What does that speed need to be? So uh, I'm going to use some things that I have on the graph here. Uh, in order to figure out what the police officer's speed is, I need to figure out the slope of this graph. And the slope of that graph is this rise, which is delta x for the police officer, which I don't know, over that time interval. So I can write this. Um, and I do know the time interval, actually, so I can put that in if you like. Okay, now what I'm going to do is try to express this delta x in terms of other things. Um, so for one thing, I know the 150 meters is part of that delta x, but not the whole thing. I also have to add in this amount to get us to be the whole thing. And that is the delta x for the truck, because it goes from the initial position of the truck to the final position. So I can revise this a little bit to get closer. All right, that's closer. All right, but I don't know what the delta x of the truck is. Well, I do know the slope of this graph, and I know how long that that goes. So what I can do is figure out the delta x truck from that. I know the v truck right, is 35 meters per second, which is delta x of the truck over 120 seconds. So I can solve for the delta x of the truck. 35 meters per second, 120 seconds. And I can put that, uh, that number in here. So that's 4,200 meters. The police car has to go more than that, has to go 150 meters more than that, so we have that there. So this is 4,350 meters in 120 seconds, which would give us 36 and a quarter meters per second. So my units worked out, right? Meters divided by seconds is meters per second, but does the number make sense? Well, it's in the same ballpark as the truck, and that's good, uh, but it's a little bit faster, and it would need to be because the police car needs to travel uh, further in the same amount of time. But really, it, it ends up not being all that much faster. Alright, so this method can let us use the graph without having to worry about the scaling. And, you know, we're just using the shape of the graph and what relationships that tells us. We're sort of translating them into equations to solve. This can help you solve much more difficult problems and it can help you solve the easier problems uh, more more easily. So this is more on the on the advanced side, but it can really help on the easy problems as well.